any gag-gagging her former assistant has had to face in the court depositions, as the possible consequences of false accusations that the singer has said about her at the time of firing. The former assistant to Mother Monster demands a whopping amount of $393,000. Today Lady Gaga has had a day quite moved when confronted in the court depositions with her former assistant and listened to everything she has said the singer about her is a lie since denied allegations the singer that she did not her work as an assistant. Jennifer O'Neill said she was at the disposal of the singer, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to help with whatever was needed and that included sharing the same bed with Lady Gaga because she did not want sleeping alone. I was by her side virtually 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, O'Neill said, as quoted by New York Post. That includes sleeping in the same bed with her, because she did not sleep alone. When asked if sleeping with Gaga was required, as part of her job, she said, I felt it was, but didn't make any suggestion that they had any kind of sexual relationship. Although sometimes the imagination flies to the absolute limits that can include things that really are not. The former assistant has continued explaining the possible psychological closure singer had in her, unlike anybody else in that tour, I did not have my own hotel room. I was not asked if I wanted my own hotel room, she claimed. I had no privacy, no chance to talk to any family, no chance to talk to any friends. No chance to have sex, if I wanted to have sex. There was no chance to do anything. Of course Lady Gaga is not silent and Primus has also argued, in a more sudden, what happened to her during her time working O'Neill serving the singer, particularly between 2009 and 2011. She slammed O'Neill for being a F-I-N-G-Hood rat who is suing me for money that she didn't earn.